Three days till it all kicks off. Three days till it all kicks off. So Premier League predictions are finally back. Kicks off on Friday night, 8 o'clock, with the first game being Burnley versus Manchester City. Obviously, company going back against his old team that he pretty much made a legacy at with Man City as the captain. And it's interesting because he's got Bellamy as his number two, who obviously played for City as well. Obviously, City the other day losing to Arsenal, which I don't think a lot of people would have expected. It's good for Arsenal, obviously. So anything can happen in football. There can be upsets. Maybe City going to Burnley for that first opening game after that loss against Arsenal. Mentality-wise, it could affect them and it would be tough to go to Burnley. And obviously, Burnley have turned their, their way of doing things around. They're a ball-playing football team now. They're not just long ball and hoof it. and like They actually get it on the floor and play it about. Um, I think it will be a close game, to be honest, but I do see City edging it. So I'm going to go 2-1 away to Man City. But obviously... It's going to be a big day for Burnley and company himself and Bellamy because obviously they're former players of City and they're going to really want to get one over on them and, and get three points. So I think it'd be close, but I'm going away 2-1 to Manchester City. Moving into Saturday's games then, we've got Arsenal versus Nottingham Forest at half 12. I've gone with a 3-2 home win to Arsenal in this one. Just won the Community Shield, obviously. First bit of silverware before the season starts could help them a lot especially of the mentality shift, but they now have to go on and prove it and, and try and win a league title. And against Forest, who I think will have an improved season even on last year, I think it'll be tough. I think it'll be a close game again. And I've gone with one goal to decide it again. And I've gone 3-2 to Arsenal. Next up for the three o'clock kickoff then, we've got Bournemouth versus West Ham. I've gone with a 2-0 home win to Bournemouth in this one. I think they surprised a lot of people last season. And I think that they will continue to get results this season. West Ham think, will probably struggle a bit again. I feel like they need to bring... I feel like they need to change their squad up a lot more. Obviously, they've lost Rice now, which is a massive loss. And they're not going to be able to replace him. So, I think it's going to be a struggle for West Ham this year. I've gone with a 2-0 home win to Bournemouth. Brighton versus Luton. Obviously, Luton newly promoted. It's going to be interesting to see them up in the Premier League. First time ever for them. Um, Brighton, for me though, I think they have a similar season, Brighton, to what they did last year. I've gone with them to finish uh, sixth again, as what they did last year. I think they'll finish sixth again this year. I think opening up their campaign at home, I think they'll win this. I've gone 2-0 Brighton. Everton versus Fulham. I've gone with a draw in this one, 1-1. One, one. I think Everton are going to struggle again this year. And I think Fulham were a surprise package last year, but I don't know if Mitrovic is going to be featuring a lot as talks that he's going. And I, it seems like there's a lot of tension there at the moment between Fulham and Mitrovic. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Obviously, they've just signed Jimenez up front, but he's not he's not going to guarantee you like 20 goals a season where I think Mitrovic pretty much can. But they've got the majority of the squad from last season still. So I think they have another good season, Fulham. I think they'll stay up again. But I've gone with them to snatch an away point in this one. And I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. Sheffield United versus Crystal Palace. I've gone with an away win to Palace in this one. 2-1 two, one, against newly promoted Sheffield United. I think Sheffield will struggle this season because I don't think they've got enough depth and enough quality. Um, and they won't score enough goals for me. So... I've gone with Palace in this one away. I think Eze will probably get one of them, if not both. So 2-1 away for Palace. And then lastly on Saturday, we've got half five kickoff Newcastle versus Aston Villa, which I think will probably be game of the weekend. And I've gone with a draw in it. Lots of goals, 2-2. Two, two. I think Emery will have a massive season with Villa. And I think that they could potentially win a cup. And I think Newcastle, for me, I've predicted them to finish second in the league. So... I think they will improve even more on what they did last season. But Villa, I think they'll cancel each other out, basically. 2-2. Two, two. Going into Sunday, then, we've got two games. We've got Brentford versus Tottenham at 2 o'clock. I've gone with a narrow home win to Brentford in this one. I think Tottenham will have a, a another bottling season like they always do, but I think they'll finish even lower. And I think Brentford, I know they haven't got Tony for the season, but I think that they will come together and it will make them stronger as a team and as a unit knowing that they've not got him to rely on. So I think the likes of you and Buermo, Yashade, Vissa, um, Norgard, Ben Mee, the likes of these players I think will step up even more. 
and I think that they will improve on last season, even without Tony. So I've gone with a home win in this one, 2-1. And Chelsea versus Liverpool then in the, in the big one in terms of just history and big clubs for this opening game week at half four on Sunday. I've gone with a narrow away win to Liverpool, 1-0. I think Chelsea looked pretty good in the pre-season, but it looks like Nkunku's going to be out straight away for now for a bit, which is not what they needed. And Liverpool, I think, had a pretty good pre-season overall. Obviously, winning yesterday again. I think they've got a bit more firepower than Chelsea and a bit more depth, so that is why I'm going with Liverpool. But who knows? At at home, uh, Poch looks like he's he's demanding a lot from them. Liverpool struggled a lot last season, as did Chelsea, so... There's not going to be a lot in this game, I don't think, but I've gone with Liverpool to snatch it 1-0. And then to finish off the game week, guys, on Monday at 8 o'clock, we've got Manchester United versus Wolves. Um, I've gone with a 2-0 home win to Manchester United in this one. I don't think we've had a great pre-season at all. A bit underwhelming and a bit concerning at times. We really lack a goal threat. And obviously, Hoyland we've brought in, but he's injured, so he's not going to be able to play straight away. But against Wolves, I think we will manage to do it. I think the likes of a Bruno Fernandes, a Rashford, um, Garnacho, I think these players will step up to the plate and deliver to get off to a good start and get three points with our first game to Wolves, being at Old Trafford. So I've gone with confident winning this one. Clean sheet, 2-0 Manchester United. So that is it for the opening game week, guys, for the Premier League new season coming. As I said, it kicks off. Friday night, 8 o'clock, Burnley versus Manchester City. I'm glad the football's back. Um, I've missed it. It always seems like it's a long time when you're on the break, waiting for the season to start again. But once it's back, football galore, and I can't wait for it. Hope you enjoy it, guys. Let me know yours in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you soon.